गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एज इन आवर लाइव क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर न्यू चैप्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज परसेंट एज परसेंटेज फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ परसेंट दैट वट डज परसेंट मीन्स परसेंट इज मेड अप ऑफ टू टर्म्स फर्स्ट इज पर एंड अनदर इज सेंट पर द मीनिंग ऑफ सेंट इज हंड्रेड it means that percent means per 100 this is the meaning of percent now suppose let us take an example 10 this is the symbol of percent this is the symbol of percent and we read it as 10 percent and the meaning of percent is per 100 per 100 means 1 by 100 percent means 1 by 100 this thing you have to learn and then after i will teach you two general steps the first one is to convert percent into number first we will learn how to convert percent into numbers suppose the example we have taken 10% now how to convert this 10% into number for converting percent into number what we have to do we have to follow this step that means we have to multiply the number by 1 by 100 that is the meaning of percent percent is equal to 1 by 100 it means 10 into for place of percent we will write 1 by Hundred, that is equal to one by ten. This will be our answer. It means for converting percent into a number or a fraction or a decimal, we have to multiply it by one by hundred. The next thing to convert any number into percent. how we will convert any number into percent just opposite of this process that means we have to multiply it by 100 earlier we were multiplying by 1 by 100 this time we have to multiply it by 100 it also means divide the term by 100 either you multiply 1 by 100 or divide it by 100 and to for converting any number into percent we have to simply multiply it by 100 now let us take the same number which we have obtained in earlier example the number is 1 by 10 and this number we have to convert into percent for converting into percent we have to multiply simply by 100 00 cancel now we have to write 10 percent since we have converted into percent now with this concept we will start solving our first exercise so let us start exercise 8a in exercise 8a the very first question is express each of the following as percent express each of the following as percent now the first question we are going to solve that is second one that is 2 by 3 this number we have to express as percent just now we have studied to convert any number into percent what we have to do we have to multiply it by 100 simply in the next step we will do 2 by 3 multiplied by 100 it means it will become 200 by 3 percent you can leave your answer here also or if you want to reduce it you can reduce or if you want to make it in mixed fraction you can make it in mixed fraction that is 3 divided by 200 36 ja 18 carry 20 36 ja 18 we can write 66 whole 2 by 3 percent this can also be your answer similarly you have to solve all the question of question number 1 now we will move to question number 2 question number 2 says express the following percent as fractions 
और डेसिमल नंबर वी हैव टू एक्सप्रेस द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट एंट इन टू फ्रैक्शन एज वेल एज इन डेसिमल नंबर लेट एस सॉल्व अगेन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड फॉर दिस दैट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो परसेंट नाउ दिस वन वॉज द फर्स्ट रूल विच वी हैव स्टडीड टू कन्वर्ट परसेंट इन टू नंबर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू आई दर मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई वन बाई हंड्रेड और डिवाइड इट बाई हंड्रेड एनी मेथड यू कैन यूज लाइक इट इज टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो डिवाइड बाई हंड्रेड नाउ दिस पॉइंट विल बी रिमूव्ड इन प्लेस ऑफ दिस पॉइंट वी कैन राइट वन एंड आफ्टर दिस पॉइंट टू डिजिट आर देयर दैट्स वाई आई हैव केप्ट टू जीरो नाउ वी विल कैंसल वन जीरो वन जीरो कैंसल ट्वेंटी फाइव वन जा ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर जा हंड्रेड इन द न्यूमिनेटर पोजिशन ओनली वन इज देयर एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर पोजिशन फोर इन टू टेन दैट इज फोर्टी दिस विल बी आवर एंसर होप दैट फर्स्ट टू क्वेश्चन आर क्लियर टू यू एंड विद दिस कंसेप्ट यू हैव टू सॉल्व द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन our next question question number 3 is asking what percent is it means kitna percent hoga we are going to solve question number 4 question is saying 600 g of 5 kg it means that question is asking what percent is 600 g of 5 kg it means 5 kg mein 600 g kitna percent hoga kitna percent value dega for doing these type of question what we have to do we have to keep in our mind that the unit of both the things should be same here the unit is gram here unit is kg so we have to make both the unit same that is either convert this gram into kg or convert this kg into gram what we will do we will come to the short smaller unit that is gram this will remain as it is that is gram of 5 kg we all know that 1 kg is equal to 1000 g therefore 5 kg will be equal to 5000 g now for solving in the next step this one we have to convert into percent the thing which will be converted into percent that will be in the place of numerator divided by the thing out of which we have to convert that will be in denominator and for converting into percent what we have to do we have to multiply it by 100 now we will reduce 0 cancel 0 0 cancel this side 1 0 cancel 5 1 ja 5 5 2 ja 10 it means the value will be 12% this will be your answer hope that this question is also clear now we will move to the question number 4 next question question number 4 is saying find the value of find the value of like here we will solve only one question that is question number 5 that is 5 by 8 percent of rupees 600 it means question is asking how much rupee will be 5 by 8 percent of 600 we have to follow the same step which we have done 5 by 8 for converting percent into number multiply it by 1 by 100 or divide it by 1 divide it by 100 in both the cases the same thing we will get in place of of we will put multiplication then rupees 600 0 zero, 0 removed 2 4 ja 8 2 3 ja 6 in the next step 5 3 ja 15 divided by 4 this will be the rupees you can leave your answer here also or if you want to convert into mixed fraction you can uh, sorry in decimal you can divide 4 3 ja 12 rest 3 0.047 ja 28 2 045 ja 20 it means rupees 3.75 will be your answer hope that this question is also clear and now we will move to our next question that is question number 5 these are the word problems and in word problem also we have to do the same thing follow the same process only we have to understand the question so let us do question number 5 question number 5 is saying in a class of 60 children it means in a class of 60 children like our class we are having around 60 children we are having in every class it means question has given total number of student in class 
total number of students in class is equal to 60 now this 60 means there are 100 percent student it means in percentage it will be 100 percent 60 will be 100 percent for any value is 100 percent in itself now next line says 30 percent are girls girls percentage girls percentage is equal to 30 percent out of 100 percent 30 percent are girls that means remaining are boys percent then we will calculate boys percent is equal to how we will calculate 100 minus 30 percent that means we will get simply 70 percent it means in a class of 60 student 30 percent are girls and 70 percent are boys now question is asking how many boys are there the boys means 70 percent we will calculate number of boys this value is according to the percent now we have to calculate the number of students number of boys that means it will be 70 percent of 60 we have to calculate 70 by 100 into 60 0 0 cancel this 0 this 0 cancel now in the next step 7 6 are 42 it means in the class 42 boys are there hope that this question is also clear and according to this question you have to solve 6 7 6 and 7 now we will be solving question number 8 next we are going to solve question number 8 question number 8 is saying sita got 75 percent marks out of a total of 800 marks same type of question it is like in a class was like question number 5 was Sita got 75 percent marks out of a total of 800 marks it means total marks is given total marks is equal to 800 total marks is given 800 then in this question Sita has obtained 75 percent marks it means this 800 is 100 percent and out of this Sita obtained Sita obtained 75 percent it means she failed to obtain or she loses Sita loses Sita loses how much percent that is 100 minus 75 percent that means Sita loses 25 percent marks if she obtained 75 percent marks it means she loses 25 percent marks because total marks is 100 percent in itself now question is asking how many marks did she lose marks lost by Sita that is 25 percent of total marks that means it is 800 25 percent means 25 by 100 into 800 0 0 cancelled 8 5 ja 44 8 2 ja 16 4 20 it means 200 marks is being lost by Sita and Sita has obtained 600 marks hope that this question is clear then we will solve question number 10 question number 9 is also same like that question number 10 is saying a class has 30 boys first we will write number of boys a class has 30 boys that means number of boys is equal to 30 and 25 girls number of girls is equal to 25 now question is asking how what is the percent of boys in the class it means we have to calculate how much percent of boys are there in the class for that we have to calculate total student how we will calculate total student total students it means it will be calculated as number of boys plus number of girls number of boys is 30 number of girls is 25 30 plus 25 it will be 55 now we have to calculate percentage of boys so we will write boys percent if we are calculating percent what we have to do for which quantity we are calculating percent that is boys the first we will keep the value of boys what is the value of boys 30 in the place of numerator divided by total value what is the total 
55 now for converting into percent since we have to convert into percent for converting into percent we have to multiply it by 100 now we will reduce the fraction and whatever will remain that will be our answer 5 11 ja 55 5 6 ja 30 6 into 200 that is 600 by 11 percent you can leave your answer here also or if you want to convert into mixed fraction we will convert it by dividing 11 5 ja 55 remaining 5 0 11 4 ja 44 remaining 6 we can write it 54 whole 6 by 11 percent this will be our answer hope that this question is also clear to you and now we will move to question number 11 question number 11 says express number first one is 3 whole 2 by 5 as percent this type of question we have done we have to express this number into percent first here it is given mixed fraction we will convert into improper fraction 5 3 is 15 plus 2 17 by 5 as percent for converting a number into percent what we do we used to multiply it by 100 5 2 is 10 0 17 into 20 17 2 is 34 and 1 0 that means the value will be 340 percent one thing keep in your mind whenever numerator is greater denominator is smaller percentage will be more than 100 whenever numerator is smaller and denominator is greater percentage will be less than 100 hamesha yaad rakhoge numerator bada hai to percentage 100 se jyada hoga denominator bada hai to percentage 100 se kam hoga like this you have to solve all the part of question number 11 but keep in mind unit should be same there should be same unit of both the quantity clear now let us move to question number 12 i think question number 12 is also very easy you will you have to solve it by your own now in this video we have completed exercise 8a and in our next video we will be completing our exercise 8b